You know, Eric, it's pretty fucking pathetic. When you sit here and you pull this dumb shit, dude. It is dumb. Like, so what? I got out from underneath your thumb and decided to take my career into my own hands and break away from all the lies you told me. So now all of a sudden, you got your little friends and followers to attack me? Like, do you even realize how unprofessional you're being, man? Like, what? You're just pissed at the fact that I broke away from you, so you decide to go on one, make memes about me, and two, you decide to get your little fucking friends and followers after me? Like, dude, like, you could have handled this fucking civilly. You could just let it go. But no, instead, what did you do? You decided to try to slander my name by having your little friends attack me. And for what reason? Like, what does that do, man? Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, what does, you know, not only lying to me and lying to everyone for that matter, but what is that and... You know, having your little bitch friends attack me, dude. Like, seriously, like, what does that do for you? Like, you're just pissed off speaking the truth about you. Every time I see an artist, I'm going to tell them to avoid you because of the shit that you've done to me over these last 10 years. There's a reason I dropped your ass, homie. And it's because of the fact that you decided to sit there and fucking lie to me all these years and provide others with opportunities that you know damn well I earned. You're just pissed off the fact that I fucking dropped you and that I broke away from you and I got out from underneath your thumb and got out from underneath your fucking shadow. That's all it is. You're pissed off the fact that I got away from you. And then I saw right through your bullshit lies. That's all it is, man. So like I said, you can sick your little friends on me all you want. And then at the end of the day, everyone's going to see the real truth. They're going to see how you are. And guess what? When your whole career comes crumbling down, I won't feel the least bit sorry for you. Because like I said, the shit you did to me it goes deeper than just names and shit like that. It goes a lot deeper than that. It goes down to the root of everything, which is you lying to me for all these years. And leading me to believe a lie. And as for Wrecked, I did not mention his name or talk shit about him at all, man. As a matter of fact, I'm cool as fuck with Wreckers. I'm cool with everybody on Buck Shit Records. So for you to fucking spread lies about that just to get even with me, like, do you not? realize how childish and unprofessional you're being right now, man? Like, first it started with that stupid-ass meme about my music, saying that my music's garbage, and, that, and then you send your little friends to attack me? Like, do you have any idea how unprofessional that is, dude? Like, that is far beyond unprofessional, my dude. Like, I would have never done that to you. So, I mean, for you to get your little friend, Amanda, to attack me and to do your dirty work. Like, that's pretty fucked up. And yeah, I blocked you. I got rid of you out of my life. 
because I found out you had been lying to me all these years. Like I said, I might not be getting anywhere right now musically. And you're right, I might not be getting anywhere, but you know what? At least I have my shit up. At least I have songs up. As for you, what do you have? You have one song that I promoted on the BSR. Because I believed in what you were doing. Like, you ain't got shit up, dude. So how can you sit there and say that you're a professional when you're not? You don't have any music up. You don't have anything on SoundCloud. You don't have anything on iTunes. You don't have anything on Google Play Store. Hell, you don't even have anything on Spotify. So how can you sit there and say that you're a professional when you're not putting out any music like I am? And for you to sit there and slander my name by making memes about me, by having your friends attack me and talk shit about me, like, are you serious, man? Do you have any idea how unprofessional that is? Yeah, it's true. I might not be getting anywhere right now at this point in time, but you know what? At least I'm not being an unprofessional dick. When I spoke the truth about you, that's all it was, was the truth. I did not mention anyone else. All I mentioned was you. Yes, I may have mentioned my little brother Ian, who rightfully earns every fucking opportunity that he gets because he works just as hard as I do. So I guess then you can have your little friends attack me or whatever. You know, because that's all they are, is they're sheep. They're following you blindly like sheep. And you know, this is what's funny. This is one thing I do find funny. You sit there and say you're doing music all the time, right? If that were the case, then why is it every time you go live, you're doing nothing but fucking smoking fucking weed and drinking and doing dumb shit? While as for me, every time I'm live, if I'm not live doing gaming on my gaming channel, 99.9% of the time, I'm usually got my music stuff up and I'm usually doing either cover songs or my own shit. And so I'm sorry to say, dude. Dude, those opportunities you're getting, you don't deserve those. You really don't. Because you've not worked your ass off like I have. You've not, I've done shows on Live.me, I've done shows on you now. Hell, I've even done shows here live on Facebook. But what have you done? Nothing. At least I've attempted to do something with my life. But what do you do? You sit there and you lie to people. You sit there and you lie to them and then you steal their money. And yeah, I said it. You steal their money because you do. You don't make any music, man. At least not anymore. You used to. You used to be damn good, but now look at you. You're an empty shell of what you used to be. And that's sad. You know, when we first started talking back in 2010, man, I gave you a chance. Even though everyone told me not to give you a shot and to not work with you, I took that chance anyway because I believed in you. And now I see that believing in you was the wrong move. And like I said, you don't see me here slandering your name on Facebook or making memes about you. So what gives you that right to do that to me? I'm not sitting here doing that shit to you. 
I'm simply speaking my truth about you and what I feel you did to me all these years. So for you to have your little friends or as you call them, your little alien nation, which I constantly say I'm very disappointed in that I'm ashamed to have even said that I was a part of or even a supporter of, it's fucked up. Like, to have your little friends and followers do that, like, what are you gaining from it? What are you gaining from, you know, doing this shit? It's stupid, bro. Like, it's really stupid, man. Like I said, I'm not sitting here making any memes about you. I saw those memes you made about me. I'm not dumb. I saw them. But your little friends attacking me, it don't faze me. Like I told one of your little followers, Amanda. Like, you know, they want to be followers of yours. They want to be, you know, sheep for the slaughter. That's fine. But honestly, dude, you need to keep my name out your mouth. Like, for real. I want nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with the alien nation. And, oh, by the way, don't even think about using the instrumentals that I sent you because I already took those back. I already went in and re-downloaded them off of the messages and off the emails. And don't even think about getting a hold of Last Life Records because guess what? I deleted that too. If you don't believe me, you can go on to YouTube right now. Look, I got rid of Last Life Records. So, you know, you can have your little bitch friends run their mouths about me all you fucking want, pal. But at the end of the day, you and I both know the truth. You know deep down in your heart that you fucking lied to me all these years. And now I'm speaking the truth about you, man. That's all I've done was speak the truth about you and what you've done to me. Because like I said, every time you go live, you're not working on music. You're all sitting there fucking smoking a goddamn blunt and getting hot. Or fucking tasing you and your cousin with that fucking taser thing that, that you got. Or whatever the fuck that taser thing is. That bug zapper thing or whatever. But meanwhile, while you're over there doing that and goofing off, I'm over here in the studio every fucking day busting my ass. Even when I'm alive, I'm doing music. Like I said, if I'm not doing cover songs for people that enjoy them, I'm usually doing my original shit. Or I'm letting them hear some of my friends' new shit. So you want to sit there and talk about being unprofessional. Like I said, dude, the only unprofessional one I see here is you, man. Because like I said, I'm not sitting here making memes about you and your music. Hell, I've done nothing but keep my mouth shut about your music. Yeah, I've said that your music sucks because honestly, I mean, yeah, lyrics-wise, you got great lyrics. But vocally, you suck. You need work, bro. And I'm just being straight up honest with you.
Because let me tell you something, dude. I've been in this music industry a little bit longer than you have. Not by much, but a little bit. And guess what? That little bit is what gives me that much more experience. But with you, you it didn't get better. It, it honestly got worse. So as I said, you want to sit there and run your mouth and about my music saying how it's nothing but noise. Uh, dude, the last time I checked, my song Please Notice Me has it on Facebook and not to mention on YouTube alone. Because when I posted it to Facebook through YouTube, I got a lot of views off of that, plus whoever viewed it on YouTube itself. So you want to talk shit about music? Take a look at my stats. If I'm such a shitty artist, why is my music up on Spotify? Why is my music up on Google Play? Why is my music up on iTunes? And if my music is so shitty, why is it that I remain Akron's number one dubstep artist on Reverb Nation from 2010 when I first started out up until last year, which is 2018? Think about that, man. If I'm such a shitty artist, why is it that I remained number one all these years? Explain that to me, man. Because like I said, dude, when I finally broke away from you and I told the truth about what you did to me and about how you gave all these opportunities to every other artist except the one person that you knew deserved it, which was me, I was just speaking the truth. I wasn't trying to slander your name or anything like that. I was merely speaking the goddamn truth. And if you can't handle the truth, I'm sorry. But like I said, I will not sit by. It's like I told your little friend Amanda. I will not sit by and watch you fuck over good artists that work hard. I will not sit there and let you do that to them because they don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. No artist deserves that. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I did not catch your comments. Dude, what's going on? If you're wondering who I'm talking about, his name is Eric Scrubwell. That's E-R-I-K-S-K-R-U-B-B-L-A-O. There's There's two different accounts on there. One looks like a um, like an infrared image, and the other one's just him. But if you guys are new to the whole situation and you guys honestly don't know what's going on, allow me to explain it to you. You see, the other day, I was talking to my little brother, Ian, who's the co-founder of Bloodshot Records, just like myself. Me and Ian co-founded DSR back a few years ago to help artists out. Well, Eric offered Ian a shot at being on a magazine cover. And, you know, and I was, I was proud for you, and I was happy for him because the kid deserves it. He's worked really hard. The kid's only 16 and killing it in the music industry. So, I mean, yeah, he does deserve that. But when I found out that he was doing it, spite me, just to spite me, you know, knowing that I had worked hard, knowing that I had faced adversity, knowing that I had overcome, you know, being discriminated against, being bullied, being bashed on, he still decided to give the opportunity to someone else. Well, like I said, I'm not mad at Ian at all because Ian deserves this shot. Ian truly deserves it. I will not speak ill will about Ian at all because Ian is an amazing, amazing artist. As a matter of fact, let me pull up some of your guys, some of his music.
So you guys knew just how good this kid is. Now, this is Bradley, a.k.a. Ian. This is his song, I Don't Know What I Would Do. And this is off of his new album, off his new mixtape. So listen up. I don't know what I want to do. And that's a fact, one thing I can't do is lose. Nope, never got up on the way, I promise. But I need that color to see those shit views on YouTube. Well, I do every day. But still one stop to say, hey, that was pretty nice. Keep it up, dang. Maybe I'm doing it right. Gonna keep up, gonna keep on the wrong writing. But I can't keep on the wrong writing. I know it's writing. I'm in my own lane. Learning my game, it's what I'm saying. I don't What I wanna do, but I know it's not to lose. I don't know what I wanna do, but I know it ain't gonna be with you. One thing I can't do feels like I'm moving so slow. I just wanna be home, keep it in the zone, spitting bars in my studio. Uh, you wanna blow up, but break your ass and start zombie walking. We go on a trip, don't forget your soul. I'm not an e sick but I gotta keep a pole. They said you want this fame. Pay the motherfucking toll. I'm a natural born leader. Meet me outside. I got scooter dolls and dads for your ass. Yeah. Uh huh. Grab me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what I want to do, but I know it's not to lose. I don't know what I want to do, but I know it ain't gonna be with you. One thing I can't do is lose, and I don't know what I want to do, but whatever it is that I choose, I know it's not to lose. I want to make hell of baby, get hell of you. Now this right here is all his Fast Times EP, all his Fast Times mixtape. So listen up. Off the motherfucking tempo. We ain't fucking with none of you folks Unless you bring in that check With all that fucking zero Uh-huh Coming up the fuck of that cake Like a tap on the seat Got the gas and the wind in the map We in the beach first Hey, please spread the word of hate Please spread the word of hate Cause I'm fucking with a bitch I'm uh, flexing with a 17 high So my clique, uh Fucking with this bitch, uh Uh-huh Skirt with a 17 high So you can get, uh Nah Oh no, never had a mic before we said something that could be the new walking. We could be walking, walking, talking, nothing smart though. Smart ass for show. Acting for cool, the way it goes on and on and on. I never had a mic before we said something like a party to be jumping, a bitch to be dumping, I like to be rushing. Looking hard though. Catch it, the way it goes. Oh no, oh, oh, oh no. But I'm thinking I'm about to snap, pop shop in a pack. I'm losing control, and at the same time, I'm losing my soul. I'm not a stripper, but I gotta keep a hold on the deep pain in this pain. Just a pain. Yeah, the demons will take control, but I gotta buy a new one. Yeah, grab me. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Or I got something even better for you. Oh, man. I actually got something for y'all. Something I'm about to do. It is for one of my songs. But uh point being, as you guys know, obviously Bradley, also known as you know, Facebook is an amazingly talented dude. But uh you know, all in all, basically he offered Ian the shot instead of which I was, you know, I was I was happy for Ian. But the what pisses me off is the fact that he goes to all these other people and makes them the same offers that he should have been making me all these years. He talks about how. My music's always getting on the radio. How my music's always doing sense. So what did I do the other day? I finally said and I told him that, you know, you know, I straight out called him out on his shit. Because enough is enough. I'm tired of being... And this motherfucker says my lyrics and my vocals are shit. Well, my vocals are shit. The how come I can do shit like this motherfucker? Let me see. What do I want to hit your ass with first? I know. I got something for you. Or actually, no, you know what? I got something even better for your fucking ass, dude. Since you want to sit there and run your mouth about me. Did you want to sit there and talk shit?
I got you. Yo, you don't wanna step on my motherfucking man. I go hard on the shit. Every motherfucking man I'm looking at around. Like, I was with all these motherfucking names all the time, too. Motherfucking tear me down. I look at record every single one of you little bitch ass motherfuckers wanting to try. And stop like a real bitch motherfucking going straight to the motherfucking top. And I'll never get a motherfucking top. So go think for a second that I am never see through. I'm not see through. I will never ever be like you. I will never be a motherfucking pussy. Switch next one around. You wanna try to fuck me? Fuck me. Go ahead and try to 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 Y'all do better say it, yo, oh, motherfucker name of our snap, you all, two, then the back, and I'm never motherfucking looking back, I'm all standing on no motherfucking back track, while y'all bring the slow lane, I'm in the motherfucking fast lane, headed to my motherfucking destiny, and this is all, I was ever motherfucking meant to be, if you wanna run your mouth about me, go ahead, little motherfucker, it won't ever motherfucking stop me, can't you see, you're just a this dog bitch, you will never ever be me. You cannot be me. You will not touch. Touch everything that I'm motherfucking dog, man. This is my reality. So go ahead. Or do I have to pull out this right here? <sighs> hey, you know, since you want to sit there and run your fucking mouth about me, dog, and say that I am such shit, well, I got something for that. Let's see, where is it at? Does he think you're such hot shit? Time to go Mortal Kombat on your little bitch ass. Shout out to the homie six, man. What's good? Just go to the bullets like strike a glad that I did. Where was she? She be real nice and loud. Melina, say what the chica. I suggest to leave her. She won't leave her one of those hands. She won't put her on socks and seen her. I'm going on with now. I'm in the four off score. You want more now, son? Better learn how boss. 
Child come to said, do what you had to Better change things like Shane Sung Bang Boom So it's not me, when I'm gonna throw this skull Quad cheek on I'm a night wolf coming at your throat Y'all the same like side right up tall and smoke Sitting in lane, a murder section Y'all niggas fans, it's Katana's brother Let's go so I'm wearing black on black No side by tunes, I'm dropped in a side And the door catching me a motherfucking beat So this is an animality and mentally Beautiful competitors in a sorry stage Took a punctured dick from Johnny Kid you talking and bull ride choking, digging in the view, you can't stop my flow. Close and go, let the number move the sack of my punches that hit hard like jacks. Do the things that you found, rap, go talk all the time. Come now, sound out, then play that, the door to play, and I swing like bitches like Sonya Blade. I warned y'all, I'm really so proper. I remain a dragon on nine, I'm that nigga taking a thumb with Sam Drew, take he even suffer. So now say I'm shit, nigga. You and I both know I could out-rap you any fucking day of the week. Both speed, flow, and style. So you want to sit there and run your mouth about me, homie? Go ahead. You ain't touching me, Eric, and you know it. Matter of fact, I got a little something for all my gaming fans out there, man. Is the new Bad line, Van Joe Kazooie. Uh, the coolest creature that the world wants to fly with. Down and catch an arrow to the knee. Skyrim. <laughs> Shout out to all my gamers, dog. This for y'all, man. So if you game with real game dog, hit that like button. And I'm only rapping, funny, a mask, clean, and quick, and right away, that's the echo charm that won't be rapping, it'll be real, yeah. That's a kind of nigga dead or alive, I'm far from lab, and showing that you can't sleep, doesn't let you know, the only way, there's a lot of school, so that's the moment to make the song go, sipping chill as a king, that's my law in his ring, a nightmare, a fatal fury, once I've gone and stayed. Up the wall, still a boss like vice and a raging demon with a dragon up a cup that I strike with. Boom in this Castlevania, just watch and let the savage go. Ain't shit on everyone worthy, cause I don't battle for those pretty boy rappers that be playing like your beta. I'm not gonna cause a mass off, you all lose like Sega. Genesis me, I'm a new school bad guy. My bad time is your nigga black guy. Nigga, the niggas don't wanna come and see it. Cause you know they wanna use you to run my gears. I'm hot as every good place. You drop me, cause you girl on my balls. I kinda watch the lot, see you not me. I'm being like a Nazi zombie. So I Like DX3D play, other guys drive, here's a ride to GTA. Me, mate, 
I ain't even gotta go, he hold that man on Grove Street, homie. Caught your weapon, so I'm dead hard. As soon as I leave the crib, I get six thoughts. Crash when I dispatch my go for a gun. Spray fire like an ace fire. Roll my dome, so I'm on my stomach. Get jacked. Yeah, I'm banging like a rat. This nigga don't come back. Niggas get their toes ready, and I'm walking with the riches that I get. On the sins, and I sit walking with the riches and dig it. I'm sick, sight. I'm missing savage. You know what I'm saying? I'm so tight, resist the damage. Yeah. Yeah, you want to like a Mario brother. Number one, you stop my number two like a Mario brother. The biggest of the comes up, King of the Koopa. Sam is in a prime and I'm ready to shoot ya. Touch you my brain, bitch, and leave them with seven hands. Or get X like a whole different nigga, man. Get it, fam. That's a no no, nigga, cause I get metal swords and pull chrome on triggers, nigga. It's a breath of fire turned to ashes. Back the man, the machine of multiple classes. I took in his face with the endless of passion. Taking off with monsters and stuff. No damage for the third birthday. I bring you one of the worst days when you can't call the wolf to your back burden. So I told him that he can't stop my phone. I hear you saying, Yeah, well, you a psycho. Nah, I'm so hot. I scorch from the back, man. Got it wrong. I'm on my balls with that man. With the bad man going all out of 2K. Ball out the last D1 fall out of crawl down my grip. More than ready to take the city over like Tommy for Sadie. Get me. No, I'm not one of the spar with delegate. Of your body will be uncharted. You heard so check my bio. I, I gotta cheat my bio, leave your bio shot. Still have a doubt, try your luck. I reckon you'll catch more kicks than the roster I'll check it. Still keep the learn that I'm DMC with more arms than Monte off BNC. Or store away fits is a tip. Don't play with them. I wipe out the free Pokemon in the stadium for laying them. Laying them out, I ain't an act on dog on the mic. Hurrah for the rapper. Don't get smacked up and left for dead. Let's pitch them back to battle left to head. Well, with the gold and I, 40k vision. Cause a nigga with no thing having 40k vision. Double O6 with so the show. You're done, cause I'm way more legal than a golden gun. Oh, this son of a PC, and y'all for supper before I fight you. I'm like, Curry sounds like Yoshi, hard as shit. I'm getting wrong like 64 cartridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wall Street, Cross Street, my word. Check that cheat, there's no one fly or rider. Down from the drama fan, the devil is basically a bomber man. You get smashed, bro, if you try to deny. You ain't every member of your Jet Force Gemini. I get you every metal twisted if you thought of Duke it. You got me fucked up. I straight Duke nuke it. Bitch, I'm far from a hero. I find a phone thing with racing around screaming at zero. Did you get no? No time to party. Go on five times fly in a foul full of party. You show me your moves, but I got this all locked. Cause I'm cleaning my feet to the sky like box. I mean, feel that you gotta be with the best. Cause I move with the strength of what beats in my chest. The heart that I'm living in, surviving when I'm living in the key. Do it all, sending y'all to oblivion. Nobody's waiting, nobody. So stop me and help me. You won't exist, I'm sorry, you're right. Just don't oh, listen, nah, just aware of my masterpiece. Your head is in the clouds, and that's your final fantasy. You know what? The way you're on, I slip all and blow all the way to the show, better squall. Y'all know what I be through. Fall this from see through a person who saying this dawn is like Riku. You know what I'm saying? The Chinese don't try me. Fuck what? Nah, I ain't chasing Kyrie on this little big planet, honey. My girl thinking comes out. No, I was always wrong with the way you think it comes out. Then this face turning everyone red. Until the news out that I'm dead. So the better than said. Give me friends to sell. Till the dip can switch fear on bringing them out. Swing the soul caliber, you fool for the vultures. Wanna play me? Feel free, you will break your control. If you cross the cause of everything you've been through, face me and make sure the world is with you. If you cause of what you've been through, face me and make sure the world is with you. So now, Eric, you still want to run your fucking mouth about me, boy? Oh, and by the way, dude. And I want you guys to see this firsthand. I want y'all to see this shit. 
This motherfucker over here, Eric, thinks that his shit is such hot shit. Okay, well, now let me ask you guys something. Hold on. Now, I want you guys to see this. If Eric has such hot music and his shit's all over the place, one, it's not on YouTube. I already checked. There's only one song in there which was promoted by me. But if he's such hot shit, why do I have this many plays on my hit song from last year? I don't know if y'all can see that, but currently right now, 595 plays. Explain that to me, man. If your music's so fucking hot, and if you're so out there, and you're doing all this dope shit, why isn't your music up on YouTube? Why isn't it up on anywhere, dude? See, that's your problem. You got a tendency to lie to people. You ain't doing no music, homie. See, while you're sitting on your ass fucking smoking your damn life away like a dumbass, and wasting your fucking skill. And instead of bettering yourself, what are you doing? You're wasting your life away, dude. You're throwing it all away, smoking weed, and talking shit. Well, as for me, my actions speak louder than my words. I let my actions speak for my words, dude. Like, straight the fuck up. You can ask anybody that knows me. You can take a look at my work. My work and my actions... Speak from my words. Unlike you, you don't have anything. So what right do you have to run your mouth about me? Because like I said, dude, I just proved to you that I am a hundred times better than you will ever hope to be. Like, seriously, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, lyrically, you are good. Yes. Like, don't get wrong, man. Lyrically, you are good. You have some good-ass lyrics. But point being, man. Stop running your mouth about me. Stop getting your little friends to attack me. And stop making fucking memes about me. Because you are never, ever going to be on my level, dude. See, unlike you, I work hard. And I've proven that many a times over. I work a lot harder than you can ever hope to work, man. A lot harder. Like, for real, man. Like I said, Eric, you want to sit there and make memes about me? Run your mouth about me. Have your little friends attack me. Whatever. It is what it is. But at the end of the day. At the end of the day. You and I both know the truth. And the truth is. You've done nothing but lie to me all these years. And you're just pissed off that I finally caught you. That's all it is. Now if y'all don't mind. I got shit I need to take care of. I got stuff I need to be doing. I got music to make. I got moves and money to make. So, I will to all the fans out there, what's up? Obviously, a huge shout out to my girl. You already know who you are. I ain't got to say your name, babe. But you know who you are. I love you. But as for, you know, the fans, much, much, much fucking love to you guys, dog. And as for the haters, y'all can hate all you want. I don't care because at the end of the day, that's all y'all are haters. And that's all it is. Y'all are just sipping on that hater aid and you're being a fucking follower to Eric, which if I were you, I wouldn't do that.
the guy can't be trusted. Y'all really need to rethink shit. But with that being said, I'm out, y'all. I'll catch y'all out. I'll catch y'all later on. I got shit to do. Peace.